Nurses are the largest segment of the healthcare workforce, four million strong. Nurses may come in contact with a person with an intellectual developmental disability and feel ill-equipped to really address the person's need to understand their need. And that fear and that anxiety that an individual might experience as a nurse, that may interfere with his or her ability to enact their role. Folks with intellectual disability have poor health outcomes. Length of stay is increased. Individuals with IDD might use higher levels of care using less restrictive interventions that are lower cost certainly will contribute to savings for the healthcare system. And that's always gonna lead to better outcomes for patients. Sometimes people with intellectual disabilities feel that we're getting talked down to like we're two, three years old. You wouldn't be talking to another patient like this, why would you talk to me like this? We have a voice, we have feelings. <laughs> we're, we're human too. We all have uniquenesses about us, and we're not all the same, so get to know us as the person we are, and we're just asking you for the good health care you would give to somebody without a disability. So our program from the Galasano Institute, optimizing outcomes for hospitalized individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities is a just-in-time online program that is designed to equip nurses with the knowledge, skills, and competencies in the service of improving their sense of confidence in their care delivery for persons with intellectual and developmental disabilities. The IDD population, obviously, there's special needs there, but the expertise in this is very limited, so we're very fortunate because they brought together people that really have a great diversity in their backgrounds. I was intimidated and like most people, stigmatize them as not being able to answer for themselves. But it, it taught me to have more patience. Stop, take a deep breath, because that is a person, that is a human being who has feelings, who has opinions and thoughts. I have created a sensory room based on the education. That's made a huge impact on this hospital, the sensory space. It's just a way to decompress, and we really enjoy seeing the patients going into that sensory space and being able to kind of outlet their emotions and their feelings, and then that betters the communication between ourselves and the patients. Our staff just absolutely loved it. Our patients are definitely getting better care because of it, and they definitely feel that the modules not only help reduce costs, but length of stay as well. So these programs and these modules take it to a new level. It's not something I know of that is really comparable to anything else that's out there right now. It really just helps your unit flow a lot better too when, when that patient is happier, calmer, and they feel like their needs have been taken care of. Our floor is significantly better because we did those trainings. Intellectually disabled patients are everywhere. They need elective surgery, they have medical emergencies, like we all need to know how to treat people with all sorts of different backgrounds and problems.